Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21 and it's unboxing time again. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump right on in. So over here on the side, I just received a very special package from my good buddy Ben from zoom in here delta plastics and for those of you who aren't familiar delta plastics makes some really nice speed run bodies and um so they're one of the few places that you can actually get one and a half and two millimeter uh leg sand bodies which are their big claim to fame is that they're so tough that you don't really need to fiberglass reinforce them or anything so they have a wide variety of really nice bodies that you can uh, that you can get for your RC projects, and like I said, they're tough and they're durable. And how do I know they're tough and durable? Well, I haven't personally. Well, I've painted up one with the intent of using it for myself, but then I discovered that be not because of the body's fault, but mainly because of all the extra structural reinforcement that I put inside my slash dizzy, it wouldn't fit. But I packed that body onto Lamont from Bathurst United, and he'll be running it in the upcoming Run DV series. But Lamont's run many Delta Plastics bodies over you know, over the years, I guess, and he's crashed many cars, and the cars have always survived largely thanks to those bodies. So they're they're tough, and they're durable. But if you look right here, what do we got? So Delta Plastics is also. They also have a division called SP Racing Tires. And if you look here, this is a new set of SP Racing 1 8th Rally Games Ice Tires. So this is pretty sweet because I like this color too. So these are, these are basically a soft tire compound that is it's a belted tire that's made you know to be able to survive good speed run applications so look at this guy so this right here is one of the tires that's taking dizzy to 102 miles an hour and if you look at well i've dressed it up a little bit it came with the competition yellow color but if you look at it you know, I mean, it's this tire has been pass after pass. I don't know exactly how many, but let's just say 15 to 20 passes at just about 100 miles an hour. So, and this thing is still just basically brand new condition. So if you look at these guys right here, I believe these are the same tire compound. And I will be matching these guys up to Surly here. And these guys are going to take Surly hopefully to 100 plus mile an hour in the upcoming Run DMV season. So thanks a lot, Ben. You're going to see these be put to really good use. And like I said, I'm not even going to have to dress it up because I think this color, actually this color is going to look nice on Surly. So this goes really well with the overall scheme. Now, I don't make my cars to be pretty. I make them to be functional, but if they're pretty and functional, that's even better. All right, so what else is in the box here? Well, if you look right here, Ben's also hooked me up with some one-tenth scale Touring tires. Let's look at these. These are the one-tenth 40 Sure Kyosho Gold tires. So let's go ahead and pop these out. So these are SP Racing foam tires. Now, you guys know there's several manufacturers out there that make some really nice, high-quality foam tires. So these guys are a competitor. So you look right here, and this is a nice carbon uh, color. And I know I can't really describe to you what this feels like. This is, <laughs> wow. This is a grippy tire. I mean, wow, it's actually, Kind of cool because just feeling it basically the the material feels almost like a pencil eraser like a soft pencil eraser this is 40 sure that equates to medium compound by uh by most uh manufacturer standards so i've been assured by uh, well this is 
I've been using foam tires on my Rustler Slate for some time now, but you know, different manufacturer. Those are J. Cole foam, larger scale tires. These right here, you know, they are smaller, um, but they're actually a little bit softer than what the J. Cole foams are. Uh, I think that, well, yeah, the, my J. Coles are purple, which I think are a little bit more, uh, they, J. Cole gives a range. So, you know, so these, again, these are 40 sure, which is, you know, a little bit softer than what my Jayco foams are. But I've been uh, assured by a lot of guys that this is about what you want to be running for a 10 scale speed run car. So, as you can see, Ben hooked me up and I've got enough. I've got four to go ahead and get me through. So this is going to go on the new car over here which has still to be named but you know but the unnamed car will be running some very nice named tires so this is going to be really cool so thanks a lot ben you're going to see these things be put to good use so let me just to you know so you guys all understand you know ben was kind enough to provide these for me for me to test but i'm going to tell you guys you know just like it is the good the bad and the ugly but so far, you know, my experience with my SP racing tires on Dizzy for the 1A scale have been nothing but positive. Just they, 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 they run like a champ, you know, and you can see like right here, like I just showed you, I mean, these things have done a lot of passes and they're, and they're a soft tire compound and they're holding together just, I, I, they don't even look like they're worn. So I've been very impressed with the A scales. So I have no reason to believe that these won't perform just as well. And it's going to be interesting to see how these guys perform. Tin Man, uh, for those of you who don't follow him, Tinsley Smith on YouTube, he runs these on one, of, on one of his cars. So you can check out some of his videos, see what he thinks. But this is going to be an unbiased test. And I'm going to give it to you straight. So that should be pretty cool. And also in the package, Ben was nice enough to give me some stickers to go along with everything. So we've got nice SP racing decals and Delta plastic. So as you can see, pretty much Surly and Mr. No Name here are pretty much sticker free so far. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna equip them up a little bit or dress them up a little bit more before it's time to run. Um, so you're gonna see a few of these stickers on here. Wow, colors actually blend right in. So, hmm. So like on the black seconds, maybe that might pop pretty nicely. Okay. So the colors are going to, this is going to blend right in. Yeah. So you're going to see some stickers, but that's pretty cool. All right. So again, thanks, Ben. You're going to see this stuff be good to put the really good use. All right. So what's in these packages right here? Well, I don't even know why I had this. So I just had this just for comparison, um, but I'm not really going to talk about it. This is one of my basher tires. Yeah, you know, actually, I'll, I'll take a second. I'll talk about this um, because I've talked about these Basher tires. You know, so basically, you know, these SP racing tires. I think they're really durable so far from what I've seen. But altogether, they're about forty dollars a set, which is not bad, especially given the fact that an XO one set of stock tires is about eighty to ninety dollars. The thing is, if you're just going to be going around and doing donuts in front of your house. You don't want to waste these necessarily so i picked up some el cheapo chinese tires um just to kind of bash around on and do some preliminary testing on but the thing is just holding these in your hand it's tough to really describe this you can feel the quality difference you know i mean these these are and these tires are a bit softer you know i mean that, that doesn't necessarily mean anything but these are not belted they they're made to look like they're pretty hardcore but there's a strength difference you know, and, and these are actually not, these are better quality cheap tires, if that makes any sense. But you just kind of have to put them in your hand and kind of see the difference here. You could tell that these, these are made to be raced in, um, in series. You know, so they're pretty high quality, pretty good cut. Whereas these are not. So if they just run around testing, things like that. You know, they'll do you, but when it's time to break out the big guns and do some serious work, you know, things like this right here, you know, these are what's going to take you across the finish line. All right, so back to package number two. All right, 
So let's see how good I can cut one habit. All right, so for those of you who've been following me, you know that I've gotten into the habit now of making my own cat packs. So, and of course, I will get a package in a package. So let's, let's just humor me for a second. All right, so, God. okay, one more time. All right, so, look right here, and what do we have? So, I've actually gotten a lot of interest from you guys, you know, about where, where can I get one of your cat packs? So, I just hit eBay, well, not eBay, Amazon, and I ordered myself 100 raw capacitors. So, in the description to this video, you're going to see a, um, I'll put a link to um, my eBay auctions where I have these guys listed. I also have them listed in my uh, Cat Pack 101 video. But I'm going to be making custom Cat Packs again. So the prices will be listed on site. I'll make them free shipping. So, you know, you just, you know, it's all inclusive price. I'll, I make them in three sizes now. So I have two, well, let's say, these are actually 470 microfarad capacitors. You can see it right there. So good quality capacitors, 35 volts. So that's good for up to 6S LiPo. Okay guys, so I actually make these cat packs in three different sizes. So you got a small, medium, or large, or general purpose, extreme, and just darn crazy overkill. So the smaller of the packs is actually a 470 by two. So that's 940 microfarad capacitance altogether. And this is actually a little bit larger than uh, the cat packs that are made by Castle Creation, a larger capacity. Um, so even though it's only two caps, it should do the job just as well. Um, the four packs or four by 470 packs uh, total up to 1,880 microfarads. So these are actually twice as large as the cap Castle Creation packs. So they should be more than enough to handle even an X01 configuration. But if you really want to get extreme with it, and this is what I'm doing on my vehicles. Um, so this is what I'm doing on my vehicles, Dizzy, and on Surly. I'm going with an 8x47 configuration, just because I can. And those guys total up to 3,760 microfarads. And, you know, it, it just remember, the point of these things is to filter out ripple voltage noise on your lines. And they're not extra batteries. They're, you're, because some a lot of guys think that a cat pack will actually store energy and boost the system but when you're running a hundred mile an hour vehicle you're pulling so much current that if you try to use the cat pack or even a large cat pack for this purpose you're going to empty it out in a very short amount of time so i can talk about that and actually i probably will talk about that more in a cat pack 201 video coming up soon but you know that's a time or a topic for another time so thanks for indulging me again guys keep tuned you're going to see a lot of cool stuff coming your way our house 21 is signing out remember the mantra fly fix fly break it fix it and do it all over again and don't forget to check me out on all the social media sources and that's facebook instagram and you know every place else you guys know that you get me and you know stay with me we're going to be doing some craziness and i mean that in the best possible way all right our house 21 signing out peace